and this is Boots back from CyborgTeam.com with another keyboard. But before the keyboard, on my website, CyborgTeam.com, pick up one of my custom desk mats. If you like green camo, this is for you. This measures 24 inches by 14 inches. Has a rubberized back, so it's not sliding anywhere. Spill resistant top, nice smooth surface. Back to the keyboard. We got the Doom Hammer Chalk 96 mechanical gaming keyboard here. Now this one has Cherry MX Red switches. That's for the linear gang. It has ABS double shot shine through keycaps. It is a 96% layout, so some of the buttons are missing. Notably, the delete key is gone and the insert key, but you can still access those two keys by hitting function and uh, the seven and eight on the numpad. This features a removable trim. So right now, looks like, you know, looks like a chunky boy. You can actually pull off this trim here and expose your keycaps. I actually like that look a lot better. So now I have a floating keycap style. On the back here, it comes with a keycap puller designed to sit inside the keyboard there. It has an extra key, has kick up feet, which is always a plus, and they're rubberized, so it's not sliding around anywhere. Only thing about this cable, it's a nice braided cable, but it's non-removable. It's built right into the keyboard, so you can't use your custom cable, unfortunately. It only comes in black, so if you like black, there you go. The legends on here, they're kind of boxy and choppy, but they're not bad. They serve their purpose. The backlight is not very bright, and I'll show you that in a little bit when we go through the lights test. I'm gonna start off right now with saying what I don't like about this keyboard. First of all, I already said cable is not removable. I don't like that, especially for, for $45, $50, whatever I paid for this. I feel like it should have it removable. I feel like every peripheral should have a removable cable, but this is what you get for around a $50 range. The backlighting is dim. There's no software for the keyboard. So everything is a kind of complicated key combination that you gotta press to change everything. If you do decide to get this keyboard, keep in mind, when you get the instructions, they're in full Chinese, Mandarin, Cantonese, I'm not sure, but there's nothing on here at all in English, so keep that in mind. This is not a hot swappable board. You can swap out your keycaps, but if you want to change the switches, you got to disassemble it and desolder the key switches. And for $45 keyboard, I'm not sure if you're really into doing that. Also on here, the, the number pad is a bit odd, as in the, ar the directional arrow keys are built in to the numpad. I'm not used to that. There's this button here. It's the doom hammer button. You hit this, you can see these keys here deactivated. Now I can't use these keys, but now my directional keys are activated. So then that's where I can hit up, down, left, right, whatever. If I want to go back to the numpad, I got to hit this button again. So I can't have both at the same time. I don't know. I just don't like that implementation of it. The thing about 96% layouts, there's not a standard layout. So somebody says, if a company comes out with a 96% layout, it's gonna be completely different from everybody else's and everybody else's is just completely different. There's no uniformity anywhere. What I do like about the keyboard is the cable routing on the back. So it has a little bit of cable management system. So if you want the cable to come out of the left side like I do, boom, there you go. I'm not sure why it's this bright red, but hey, it's not that bad. Without further ado, let's get into the light test. Now, other keyboards I have, they're a bit brighter than this. It's not bad when the lights are off, but I mean, they could be a little bit brighter. If I want to change the colors, I can hit function and bracket. That'll give me my color changes. So I can just cycle through here. Red, orange, yellow, green, white, blue. You can change the speed and you can change the pattern here. So if I want to change the pattern though, function Alt F7 will give me my rainbow static. Now, again, in all these modes, you can change the colors. So if I wanted this static here, but a solid color, I would hit function and bracket. Now it's all red static, green static, yellow, blue, so. You can do that. If you hit function, alt F7 again, now you have response typing. That's a fan favorite for sure. Again, alt F7, 
function out F7 will change it once again. Now I just have a, a rainbow set up there. Function out F7 again. And we're back at static. So if you hit function out F8, we'll go into different modes. So now you have this chasing rainbow, or you can change that color too. Now it's just solid red. You can go pretty much any of these colors here. You hit function out F8 again. Now it's chasing the other way. Now it's chasing south or down. And again, you can change these colors. So it's pretty dope. Function out F8 again will give me, now it's doing a counterclockwise type of chase. See what that looks like in different colors. Not too bad. You can change the brightness by hitting function and one of the arrow keys here. You can change the speed. But we're going to hit function out F8 one more time and it takes us back to where we were. Function out F9. Now we have, what do you want to call this? Raindrops. Let's see what that looks like in a different color. Okay, it's like matrix style. Pretty cool. Function out F9 again. Change the color of that. Okay, function out F9 once again. See if we have another. There you go. It's kind of like Christmas lights there. Let's change that color. This one is strictly rainbow, so you can't change this into any kind of solid. All right, function out F9, and we're back to the regular one. So function out F10, see if we have anything else. And this is also a response timing, response typing, whatever. Let's change the color of that. There we go. Red to match your red, your bright red cable there. Let's change the mode again. So now you can go single line response and then you have this effect. Wherever you hit, it'll chase out from there. Okay, now we're back to square one. If we hit function out F11, now you have just a breathing. Let's see if we can change the color of this. And of course you can. Why not? Alright. Function out F11. It's breathing again. Now this this mode here just cycles through all the colors. It's pretty nice. And now you have uh, it's like a blossoming out from the center out. All the different colors. Function out F12 gives us, there you go, some random chasing. There you go, if you like that. But my favorite will always be breathing. So we'll keep it on that. Lights on. Now you already heard some of the keys, but let me do a quick typing test here.
It's like a squeak right there. You hear that? Overall, $45, $50. I, I got to see exactly what I paid for this thing. I would not recommend this keyboard. For that price range, you can get some other options that have now no squeaking when you hit the buttons. Other keyboards will have a more brilliant backlight. For the same price range, you can get keyboards that have a detachable cable. As a matter of fact, the last keyboard, if you want to check my last video, that one was about $40 and it came with a detachable cable. I mean, for $40, I guess 50 40, 45, 50, from 40 to 50 dollars, right? In that range. I guess it's not too bad. I just, at that price range, I've already had better. So if you want to keep looking for something else, that would be great. I mean, it does suck about the instruction manual. You have to go, if you don't reference my video or find or look online, you're not going to know how to change those, those uh, color patterns. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory here. You get function, you have media controls, so play, pause, stop. You can get over here to insert page up, page down. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. This is the Doomhammer Chalk 96, 96% 96 layout keyboard with Cherry MX switches. Don't forget to check out my website, cyborgteam.com, and I'm out. Okay, bye.